This year is going to be a time of drought and famine. I want you to sow your seed. Hi, everybody. Well, it's an exciting moment in our lives. We are in a, another year. Actually, nothing spectacular has happened. It's just that the name of the year that has changed. The numbers have rolled over. You have the same you, <laughs> but of course, in the grand scheme of events, being ushered into a new year, we have expectations, we have resolutions. Some of them might be met, others might not be met. However, I have this word that God put on my heart. This year, give or take, going to be faced with a lot of financial difficulties. Even though things are going to be difficult, even though things are going to look as if they won't get any better, uncertainties out there. I want to encourage somebody who is listening to me right now, who is watching me. God is going to take of you. In as much as you are doing your own bit, working hard, focusing on your dreams, chasing your goals, being honest about it, and pressing on, I want you to understand that God is going to take care of you. And He's going to need you in the process. What is going to need from you is your faith. Even though you are not seeing the result, even though you are not seeing the outcome as anything positive, it just wants you to have a little bit of faith. I was reading the Bible and I got where he told his disciples, if they had faith like a mustard seed, just a little faith, they will be able to tell the mountain to move from where it is and the mountain will obey them. Now, why would he of a mustard seed? <laughs> if you've ever seen a mustard seed before, a mustard seed is a very tiny seed. And looking at the scope of your situation, a mustard seed would look laughable. I mean, my situation, for instance, if, <laughs> if I look at a mustard seed, the mustard seed looks laughable in the sides, in the face of my situation. But God wants you to have faith like the mustard seed because it's a God of the impossible. This year, I want you to trust on the God of the impossible. Look at the God who is able to do all things, change situations in the twinkle of an eye. The God who doesn't need permission from anybody to sort you out. Have confidence in this God because he's able. He is the element at the disposal. So this year, in your business, have faith that God is able to turn things around. And that faith that you're supposed to have, let it be that stubborn kind of faith. That faith that laughs at impossibilities. It laughs in the face of impossibilities and says it as well. Look. Have stubborn faith this year. Have faith that will move mountains. The kind of faith that you're supposed to have this year is the kind of faith that women with the issue of blood had. The faith that draws power from God. In fact, Jesus was crammed in the space of the people, the crowd. But because of the faith that the woman had, that mustard kind of faith. She didn't even call Jesus. She just touched the hem of his garments, knowing for that do or die. Things must work out. And Jesus felt it. He felt that something had touched him. Like, no, Jesus felt the woman's faith. This year, I want you to let the heavens feel your faith. That God, I am not moving from here until you bless me. I'm not stopping. I am holding on to you. I am believing on you. Do you believe on God or believe in God? Believing on God. Believing. I'm believing. I'm believing <laughs> that no matter what happens, no matter what happens, I will hold the hem of your garment and power must leave you. Things aren't working out for everybody. Because of the kind of faith I'm, I'm placing at my own disposal by the power that worketh in me because of you, God, things have to work. Touch God in such a way this year that your business that seems to be dead will begin to rise up. Yes. <laughs> you know this Isaac man in the Bible? He planted his crops during the famine. That's the kind of faith I want you to have. Me, I'm having that faith. I'm cultivating that faith. I'm building that faith. I'm telling you, this year is going to be a year of uncertainties. You need faith. You need faith that shakes God. Faith that shakes situations. Build that faith that no matter what, this has to work. When everybody had put their plows down, Isaac tilled the ground. And Isaac sowed his seeds. And the Bible says that he reaped a hundred folds. In a time of drought it was a famine this year is going to be a time of drought and famine i want you to sow your seed have faith and sow your seed because god is ready to touch people to answer people who are going to have faith for this year if you understand what i am understanding if you understand what i am feeling you would believe what i'm telling you that have faith like the master seed let everybody laugh at you <laughs> imagine when jesus said who touched me imagine how the people would feel the disciples were like Massa, there are a lot of people around here. You are in the midst of them. 
of people and a crowd they are crammed in a crowd but Jesus said I know someone has touched me 